It's always been my opinion that schools belong to the community. In term three of last year, we had a bike track put in here at the school. We immediately noticed a change in the way our community was interacting with the school. Because of the bike track, all of a sudden we had families coming at the end of the day, having a picnic dinner while the kids had a ride around on the cycle track. We realized that the more we enriched our school, the more opportunities we could actually provide our community uh, to make use of the school as a community hub. As a mum, you know, on my community level, I, I do it anyway. I saw the bike track after the last holidays and I thought, well, this is cool. I'm a mum of two boys. We live just over the road and to be able to just pack up my kids, bring a picnic and come down here and hang out and do some exercise and whatever and hang out and, you know, be together is cool. I just think it will just bring the community together so much. So as the strategic coordinator for Whakatane Kimua, we've uh, engaged in a huge process, uh, community engagement, and that feedback has told us that this is something this wider community needs, that they would value, that they would use, that they don't have and that they won't have because there's such limited um, ground that the council can claw back and use for something like this. We know there's a whole lot of things that are going on and not working in our community at the moment and this it feels like a solution that is from the grassroots, it's, it's, it's us coming up with it and it's the community has been amazingly supportive of it from all aspects, from a te ao Māori point of view, from a um, physical activity from point of view, from a, um, from a mental health point of view, um, from, from all angles. Gardeners are right behind this, you know, we know that kids don't know where their food comes from these days and we've got an obesity epidemic so this is a really cool way about teaching all these things and bringing them all together in one place. When I was talking to Erin about the plan, it was really clear that she'd really thought through um, what the, how the experience of being in the grounds was going to play out for people who were older, people who were younger, people with sensory impairments, people with intellectual disabilities. She'd really thought it through from all of those different perspectives and there's something here for everyone. Oh, the first things that came to my mind was for the children, you know, because they're going to get get a handful of this and and not only that you know they're going to move on and then the other kids coming up behind them will pick some up and you know it's going to be it'll go forever you know with all our children being involved it's going to help knit the community as well. Eh? Considering the buy-in that we're having from community organisations the excitement this project is generating I think it's going to be really widely used and I think it'll just self-generate change in that area. All of the feedback we've had on our plans has been tremendously, overwhelmingly positive and supportive. Um, I, I think it's been very, very easy to get people behind. Uh, the fact that Whakatani Kimua has uh, been able to access or collect um, a great deal of feedback from our community on what their wants and needs are. Um, just demonstrates that this is working really hard to meet those needs. And you can be here with your nana, you can be here with your children, you can be here with anybody in your family and nobody's going to feel left out. Different types of organisations with complementary agendas um, seeing a use for the space beyond what I even can see. So that's really exciting too. It's kind of just growing. This is something that is going to really fill a need in our community. We know from the Whakatane Kimua research that, that people are missing this, that they're worried about kids having something to do after school and on the weekends. Um, and so I think um, we really hope that given that we've got a very clear need here, we've demonstrated the need, given that we've got this massive level of support for it and that it's a one-off, pretty simple project capital, one-off capital expense injection into our community that we hope will benefit the school for generations to come. So, um, you know, as far as investing in facilities goes, a lot of focus is presumably on buildings, but actually it shouldn't necessarily be on buildings. Um, it should be about getting people outside and making a, an outdoors facility that's um, really enticing for people to use and, and makes for a healthy lifestyle. I think it will be Kopiopio's, like it'll be a, a jewel in the crown. I hope that it will bring revitalization to this, this community. I think the biggest part of it is the fact that everybody, young and old, um, with a disability or able-bodied, kids that need a challenge and kids that need a quieter place to play. Everybody's been thought of, everybody's been taken consideration of. There's a place for everybody here.